Well, research shows more than half of the energy we use at homes comes from heating and air conditioning, which can really drive up those power bills. Well, now engineers are busy building homes of the future inside a climate lab to help cut costs and save the environment. Here's Ian Lee with that story. It's an energy experiment all about extremes, whether it's weather or the novelty of engineers building two houses inside a warehouse. There's only one of these in the world. The goal at Energy House 2.0 is to punish properties on the outside while keeping things comfortable inside. Do these buildings work today under very deep winter conditions, very hot summer conditions, and everywhere in between? Everything about the project at the University of Salford in England is state of the art. If it gets over a certain temperature, the curtains will shut and the ventilation will kick in. To mirrors that double as infrared heaters and lighter weight walls that are more energy efficient. Traditionally in the UK, it would be about two foot wide. So you've half the amount of room you're going to take, but actually the insulation level is still the same. For months, wild weather and extreme temperatures batter the homes, while hundreds of sensors keep tabs on heat loss from the windows to the walls and doors to floors. We have to change the way that we build our homes, make them far more efficient in terms of carbon, energy, cost effectiveness to run. Researchers are also looking at creative ways to raise the temperature, but not your electric bill. Adding things like air source heat pumps, infrared heating, under very controlled conditions so that hopefully our results can have significant impact. A significant impact on the planet and your wallet.